Hi guys, <clears throat> this is a wedding dress and I thought I'd just give you a quick tip on how I do my hems and why. Um, so the first thing is that I've gone round and I've pinned it the way I normally pin it. There's other videos there to show you that. And I've cut the outer layer off. Now, <clears throat> what's important about this is like I talked before about how, you know, the back can be shorter than the front. So that's why it's important in this case to actually pin it all the way around. And you have to do that. My chalk marker can't get that low um, because this is like just about two, cent two and a half centimetres or, you know, an inch from the floor. But of course the lining should be just about a one centimetre or half an inch shorter than the outer layer. I mean, you can try and make it exactly the same if you like. The problem with that is that it may drop below the outer layer and you really don't want that to happen. Now on a lot of gowns, of course, you know, gown that you're going out dancing or whatever, the lining will probably be about two inches, whatever that is in metric, um, say five centimetres shorter. But on a wedding dress, that's not the case. So what I do is taking into account that the lining is not as wide as the fashion fabric, the outside fabric. The lining will be less. So what you want to do is just start with your um, side seams to side seams and center back seam. Now this particular client is a little bit hippy. So what that means is it looks like it dips down here, but when it's on her, of course it doesn't. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a pin in there. That's the side seam of the lining with the side seam of the outer. Um, and you can see that anywhere else it doesn't look right. Just go up a little bit. Okay. So that's that and now I'll just turn it round and get the centre back. Pop that pin in there and turn it around and get the other side. Now, why I do it this way is that I'm going to go around and pop pins at exactly the same position as I've cut this, give or take. And then what I'm going to do is, once I've got my pins all the way around the base, I'm going to cut that one centimetre or half an inch higher so that when I do the hem on it, it will be half an inch or one centimetre higher than the fashion fabric. So that's my quick way of um, getting the lining to be exactly the same as the outside fashion fabric, which I have pinned to the floor all the way around so that it's even all the way around. So I'll go ahead and pin that in show you what it looks like. Okay, 
so as soon as I move it, that's changing that a little bit. So I'm going to have to, because as this is because of the hips. So it's okay there, but. I'm going to have to change that because it's the way the fabric's dropping it's not going to cope with that so I'm going to bring that up to there and take that out even though that was my side seam pen it's just the way that it's dropping It's a lot easier doing it this way than on the person's body. You know, because you've got it at the same height. Just going to check this again because I've, you know, the other side wasn't right. So yeah, I'm going to just bring that up to there. And even if the lining is a little bit higher at the sides, it's better than having it too low. So, okay, there was a little bit of fiddling there with the side seams um, versus the, the, the back and the front were really easy to do. The sides not so much because there's such a drastic um, change and it's because you know she she kind of came down like this and then came out very quickly so hence this of course went out like that the beauty of having a dressmaker's dummy is that you know you can actually do it like this particularly if you've got back issues and you know you don't want to get up and down off the floor all the time so if you get the outer right then you can get the lining right just with a little bit of manipulation so now what I'm going to do is as I said I'm going to cut that one centimetre higher and then when I hem that most of it the sides are going to be a little bit different but most of it will be that one centimetre higher so I hope that, you know, if you ever have a situation where you're, you know, altering someone's wedding dress or your own, um, that that might help you do it a little bit quicker. So these are finished. And you can see that that's, you know, about a half an inch. And um, I did say at the sides it was going to be a little bit different. So you can see it is a little bit. But, you know, that works all the way around. So, quick way of, of making sure that you get your lining straight.